Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and today we are talking about Nano Dimension and their NNDM stock. We will also be talking about the new partnerships, mergers, acquisitions, and strategic agreements that are happening inside of the 3D printing sphere. And lastly, we will talk about 3D printed food. This video is the second video in a set of two on this topic, so if you have not seen the first video, it will be linked down below in the description and at the end of this video. As a disclaimer, I do own X1 stock and Nano Dimension stock, so do be aware of that. Like this video right now for more NNDM stock news updates and analysis. Comment down below your thoughts on 3D printed foods. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and let's make you some free money with Weeble. Weeble is a free brokerage app where you can buy and sell stocks, options, and cryptocurrencies. But right now, you can get two free stocks with Weeble. You can get the first free stock, which can be worth anywhere from $2 to $250 for just creating an account. And you can get a second free stock, which can be worth up to $1,600 if you invest $100 or more on your first deposit. You will have a 1 in 100 chance of getting stocks like Facebook, Starbucks, or Snapchat, and you have a 1 in 50 chance of getting stocks like Google or Procter & Gamble. To get this offer, just press on the link in my description box down below, but do it quickly because this offer will not last forever. And without further ado, let's get into today's stories. In the last video, one of the points we concluded was that NNDM stock needs an acquisition merger to shoot up, and Nano Dimension needs this merger fast, because if they do not act quickly, they will miss out on great merger opportunities, because many other 3D additive manufacturing companies are already making alliances without NNDM. For example, Siemens has expanded its partnership with EOS North America so the 3D printing machines can be sold with Siemens software in them. Just listen to this. And I quote, We want to ensure that our customers can be as successful printing their first part today as they will their 10,000th part tomorrow. Which means our machines must go beyond build preparation to connect to the entire end-to-end -end additive manufacturing process. The senior vice president of EOS North America goes on to say, This new agreement with Siemens will help accomplish this and we are excited to partner with Siemens as a reseller of their AM solutions. This is exactly what Nano Dimension needs. NNDM needs a partnership where another company has complementary hardware or software while also helping Nano Dimension sell their 3D printers. This partnership also helps EOS along with Siemens, ticker symbol S-I-E-G-Y because EOS will be added to the Accelerator portfolio, and EOS customers will benefit from this greatly in regards to material engineering and product lifecycle management. Now the great news is that once Nano Dimension lands an acquisition, which I think they need to at least acquire three different types of companies, which I talked about in my previous video, the NNDM stock price will skyrocket, and right now NNDM stock is discounted, which is a great time to buy. These types of mergers and alliances have been happening happening all over the place lately. For instance, Delray Systems has entered into a distribution agreement with a Polish 3D printing manufacturer named Omni3D, and now Omni3D can use Delray Systems to distribute their product all over the United States. This is the type of agreement that Nano Dimension needs to get into. The president of Delray Systems had to say this about the agreement, and I quote, the size, superior printing quality, and precision of the Omni 3D printers is remarkable. The advanced technology is USA patent pending and addresses a need in the industry for affordable, high precision, large format 3D printing. We look forward to working closely with Omni 3D and delivering a superior 3D printer to the North American additive manufacturing industry. I am growing tired of Nano Dimension delaying an acquisition decision while they continue to dilute their NNDM stock price through multiple offerings, which is why I only hold NNDM stock inside of an ETF. Big agreements are being signed while Nano Dimension is waiting patiently on the sidelines to find a good deal. Even Mitsubishi Corporation has a new 3D printing partnership that targets Asia's metal 3D printing market by using laser powder bed fusion 3D printing to create products for the automotive, aerospace, and industrial markets. 
Luckily, to my knowledge, no 3D printing manufacturer can replicate Nano Dimensions technology for now. But even indirect competition is competition that Nano Dimension should be worried about. Because what if a better way to additively manufacture PCBs is created as a product of these acquisitions, where companies combined their knowledge to create better solutions? Now, I still think Nano Dimension is a great company with great technology, but I am not crazy about their management. But I really like their business model and their reoccurring revenue strategy. I also want to add that if you are only holding Nano Dimension stock because ARK Invest holds it, then you are playing with fire. If you think Nano Dimension stock is a good pick, then hold it and don't worry when ARK sells NNDM stock to readjust their ETFs. Now, I mentioned that I hold a Nano Dimension stock and X1 stock, but there are plenty of other great 3D printing stocks out there. So if you want instant diversification, check out ARK Invest's PRNT ETF. But going back to X1 for a minute, they were just added officially to the Additive Manufacturer Green Trade Association, which is great news. Big names are a part of this association, like HP, Dimension, BASF 3D Printing Solutions, 6K, and many others. 3D printing is slowly taking over, and the partnerships, agreements, mergers, and acquisitions that are being made right now will affect who owns the majority of the market share in the future. AMGTA even made a statement that they are excited that X1 has joined the association, and I quote, I'm excited to officially welcome X1 aboard as a new founding member company of the AMGTA. Their dedication to support our trade group's mission well positions the AMGTA for continued growth and helps to fund new sustainability research projects in additive manufacturing. 3D printing looks to be the future of manufacturing, and if that is true, some of these stocks and companies like Nano Dimension will go absolutely parabolic because now, apparently, we can 3D print foods. Revo or Revo Foods is debuting its plant-based 3D printed salmon for taste testing, and it claims to be the world's first 3D printing company of a plant-based salmon product and seafood. They will be partnering with a bagel cafe named Budapest Bagels to serve various seafood dishes to customers like sushi, which were 3D printed. The salmon that is 3D printed comes from a novel extrusion-based 3D printing process that uses 11 different ingredients. This means that the salmon will taste like salmon, but it will not have the heavy metals or antibiotics in it. Also, 3D printing foods is also greener to produce and more ethical than fish farms. So if this technology is a success, the technology will be scaled into a 3D printing production line and served to paying customers. Just think, if we can cost-effectively print nutrient-dense foods, not only will the killing of animals be obsolete, but we could help feed the whole world with this technology. But what do you all think? Comment down below your thoughts. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and I will see all of you in the next YT video.